Today, I want to talk about the top five running backs on our NFL draft board ahead of the NFL combine. It's a very solid group of running backs. Although we do not have a clear RB1 as of today, there are two or three guys that I believe could elevate into that spot. I think there's a lot of guys that are going to be scheme dependent. Uh, it will depend on where they land in the NFL draft, but we're not even to the combine yet. A lot could change post NFL combine. So we're going to talk about all this and a little bit more here on Football Scout 365's After Further Review. Now, before we get started with the analysis, I want to remind you to check out all of the other analysis videos here on the channel. We have a ton of content covering individual quarterback evaluations, running back evaluations, and we've got wide receiver evaluations as well. And don't forget to check out our website, footballscout365.com, where you can find our NFL Draft Big Board Player Rankings. That includes every individual player's play style and scheme fit evaluation, a final analysis and full scouting report, player comparisons, and so much more. You can find that on our website, footballscout365.com. So when I'm evaluating the running back position and, and how this class differentiates from last year's class, uh, the biggest difference is at the top, obviously, we don't have a B. John Robinson. We don't have a Jameer Gibbs at the top. There's three or four guys that could ultimately elevate into the RB1 spot. But again, I think it's going to be dependent on where they land in the draft. But ahead of the draft, we have the combine process and all of that. So how these guys look at the NFL combine will dictate even more uh, opinions out there in the industry. And it will change a lot of people's opinions in terms of how they rank these guys. So what I want to do is I want to dive into where I have these guys currently ahead of the combine. And once we get through the combine process, we'll come back and we'll reevaluate once again. Now, the number one running back on our big board currently, and this has changed recently, is Jonathan Brooks from the University of Texas. This dude, he's had remarkable progression at Texas. He had to obviously play behind Bijan Robinson and Roshan Johnson in previous years, uh, but this dude, he posted an elite PFF grade this past season. He had over 1,100 yards rushing. He's shown the ability to manage a significant workload effectively. I believe this is a guy who could excel as a three down back at the NFL level. He had shown it as a receiver out of the backfield. He's got that versatility. That's what you are looking for at the running back position. That's what I focus on the most. But look at, at running backs in the NFL today. Alvin Kamara, CMC, Saquon Barkley. We're looking for that type of player, the three down versatility, the guy that can line up all over the formation and become a mismatch. Somebody that you can try to get lined up on a linebacker who can take advantage and really dictate how a defense uh, puts uh, their personnel out on the field as well. Uh, that's what you want at the running back position. I believe Jonathan Brooks can deliver that kind of versatility at the NFL level if he can stay healthy. Now, in terms of draft projections for Jonathan Brooks, and this is pretty consistent for most of the running backs on our big board, I can see him going late second round or somewhere in the third round range of the 2024 NFL draft. Some of the NFL teams that he's being mocked to currently, I've seen the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys pop up pretty consistently. I think both of those would be excellent fits for this type of player. And the next guy on our board, he's a little bit older. He's 23 years old. He's got some miles already on the frame. So his time could be short lived. So where he lands could really dictate what he can become at the NFL level, and that is Michigan running back Blake Corum. This guy, he's an agile runner. He's got excellent vision. Those are the two standout traits that you recognize right away. His low center of gravity and that balance through contact, you had seen that during the uh, Alabama-Michigan game in the Rose Bowl, for example. At the end of the game there, you had seen that contact balance come into play in a key moment. In terms of projected NFL draft rounds, I still see him. It's very similar to Jonathan Brooks, second round, the third round. He could fall into the fourth round. It, it all depends. I feel like once he gets into the NFL combine process, maybe he drops a little bit of weight. Shout out to somebody in the comment section. I, I apologize. I can't remember the name of the person in the comment section on his individual draft video that we have. Uh, but they had mentioned that he could potentially drop some weight to up his 40 time in the combine, which could be tremendous for him. Uh, at the end of the day, I've seen him mock to teams like the Ravens and the Saints. I think that the Chargers with Jim Harbaugh could be a realistic possibility. And that's a team that absolutely needs a running back. Uh, the Saints offense, he could be a one-two punch. 
here at the back end of, of Alvin Kamara's career as well. Okay, so the number three running back on the Football Scout 365 NFL Draft Big Board is a guy who is rising quickly on a lot of people's big boards, and it's a guy that I need to create an individual analysis video for. Uh, you can find his full scouting report, which will be updated uh, as of the re release of this video on our NFL Draft Big Board at footballscout365.com. And that is Tennessee running back Jalen Wright. Had a great 2023 season at Tennessee. He had an elite PFF grade. He's a very versatile player, especially if he can get into the open field. You get him into space. This is where the explosiveness shows. Uh, this guy has a reported 4-3-40. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he elevates once he gets to the combine. There's a lot of people out there that believe he could be the guy that could elevate to RB1 at some point post NFL combine once he's able to show uh, the athleticism there versus some of the other guys that are on the board here. But in terms of projected draft round, uh, the consensus out there of all the uh, big boards that are out there right now currently uh, he's looking like a fourth or fifth round pick. I believe he will elevate himself up into that third round status, potentially even higher than that. Uh, teams that he's been mocked to, there's not a ton uh, that have been out there that I've seen, but I've seen the Carolina Panthers as one of the teams that he's been mocked to. Again, this is a guy that can fit the three down versatility role. He's 210 pounds. He's not a Jameer Gibbs sized player. This is a, a, a prototypical size back. He's what you're looking for at the running back position in today's NFL. You want a guy who's 210, 215 with that three down versatility, a guy who could do some damage between the tackles, but can also be a guy who can stretch it wide and hit the home run in that way. So he is a guy to keep an eye on. And we're definitely going to be watching him through the NFL combine process to see how far he can elevate. And number four running back on our big board is Trey Benson out of Florida State. He's a powerful running back. He is a guy, once again, that has bounced around from number three, number four on our on our overall running back rankings throughout the process here. But again, he had a great year at Florida State. He is a guy who possesses the contact balance that you want to see at the NFL level. He is a guy who is going to power through arm tackles. He's going to pick up the tough yards as needed. He's he's more of a prototypical NFL running back at the end of the day. He is a guy who could absolutely elevate, depending on what he looks like at the combine, his 40 time and all that stuff. As I've mentioned with all these guys, it will play a role in his pass catching ability. What does he look like as a pass catcher at the combine? And then does it match up with the film? He is currently being mocked in rounds four and five. I've seen him mocked as high as round three. Now, in terms of teams he's been mocked to, I've seen the Tennessee Titans, the Baltimore Ravens, the Eagles, the Browns, the Bengals, all those teams he's been mocked to. Uh, this has been a fan favorite for a long time. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see where he lands uh, in upcoming mock drafts, post Super Bowl, there'll be a ton of mock drafts out there that could help elevate him. Now, the number five running back on our board is Bucky Irving out of Oregon. Now, he rushed for almost 1,200 yards in 2023 at Oregon. Uh, he proved that he can be a good receiver out of the backfield. He is a dual threat player at the running back position. He's one of the most intriguing players, I think, in this draft class. And I do believe how he performs what he looks like at the combine, how fast he runs that 40 yard dash, especially the 10 yard split, the short area quickness. You can see it on his tape. He, he is that kind of a player where he can make you miss in a phone booth. He graded out really well in terms of elusive rating according to PFF. So his ability in the open field, he's a space player. This is a guy that could be a complimentary back at the NFL level. I don't know how well he'll perform as an every down back at the NFL level. But I think that if you were to pair him similarly to what you see with Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery, you pair him with a David Montgomery somewhere. I think that that's where you're going to make your money with Bucky Irving. Now, in terms of NFL draft projections, what round or consensus round that he's showing up in consistently, I'm seeing rounds three, I'm seeing rounds four. So he's consistently in that range. That's where all these guys consistently keep showing up. Rounds two to four, sometimes round five, somewhere in that range. So rounds two to five for most of these running backs. But for Bucky Irving, it's been rounds three and four. And I've seen him consistently mocked to the Bills, I've seen him to the Vikings, the Commanders. I've even seen the Patriots out there. So again, as time kind of goes here and, and we, we move ahead and we move forward past the Super Bowl, there's going to be a lot more information gathered, a lot more mock drafts out there for us to look at, and it'll it'll paint a better picture. But as of right now, that's how it stands. Those are the top five running backs on the Football Scout 365 NFL Draft Big Board. Please let me know in the comments section what you think. 
who are your top five running backs? Did we leave somebody out? Please also don't forget to check out the full written analysis on our website that sort of accompanies this video. So there will be additional players for you to go look at on the website or the written version at footballscout365.com for the running back rankings. Uh, please stay tuned for the wide receiver rankings. I will try to do the tight end rankings as well, hopefully by the end of this week, if not the early start of next week. Uh, again, I want to say thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please stay tuned for more great NFL Draft content.